All right, so I got all the pieces cut. I got the uh, first arm right here cut and ready to go. It fits good in that uh, main center piece. So now I'm going to weld the other side uh, arm just like that one and get it ready. And we'll keep going from there. Got this welded on, uh, all four sides. Now I'm going to take this plate I got cut and weld all four sides of them on there uh, for the slides. And then these will get greased all the way up and down them, and then they'll go in to that tube there for the center section. But what we'll take is uh, two hydraulic cylinders, one on this side and one on the other side, set them up as a single line, one with the pin on the other and the hydraulic on uh, hydraulic hose on this end and then they'll uh, go in and out to grab the bale. So I'm going to get these four plates welded on and then we'll work on the next part. so far got these ready both sides Some angle iron I'm gonna take this round stock and it's gonna get a hole cut through the center of that and then this is gonna lay in there like that for the quick hitch down through here so when this is welded up that'll fit down inside like that and you'll just be able to back up to here and hook up this quick hitch Got the center part welded on. Got these all done. They fit in there good. Both sides. These will get cut off at an angle here on uh, all these parts. And then uh, this will get cut off flat with the cap welded on it. And these will get cut off at an angle, rounded. And then got this piece. It will uh, sit in there for this hook and it'll get trimmed out and welded in on the sides. And then we got some more of this solid bar somewhere over here. It rolled off right here. So these are going to be our rollers. So we'll sleeve this and these will come and we'll, we'll trim this out sleeve it and then these will go in right here drill a hole through that end put a pin in it and of course weld the big round ring the little cleats on it and then cut this end off at a 45 so it'll go in the bale and we'll make these with a pin in them so you can actually remove these 
if you need to for any reason. But that's where it's at for right now. It's getting ready to get dark. And we got leaves that we cut. To grind them up, clean them up, but there will be four of these on each side. And they'll go here, and then the other one will go right here. And our uh, hydraulic cylinders on both sides will sit right here. So when I get the cylinders, get them welded in. First, you got to get them ground up. And after that, we'll be close to getting done. Rollers almost done. Got uh, all these put on. Got uh, the caps welded on, drilled and tapped, and uh, put grease circs in there. You probably can't see them, but they're in there. And I got one over here. These have a pin, so you can pull that pin out, and then this whole piece slides off. And these are what I'm going to use for my park stands. So they'll come up when you're using it and they pin right there. And when you're done, you can let them back down and pin them in the down position like they are now. And then you can just back up here with the quick hitch and uh, hook up to it. All we're waiting on now is the hydraulic cylinders to come in. We'll have one here and then one over here. We got a uh, round bell on here a minute ago and used to come along and pulled from that side to this side and ratcheted it together with a bell to test it out and it worked great. So uh, it unrolled the bell. Got uh, a bunch of grinding to do on these, smooth all these up. I'm gonna wire wheel the rest of it so I can paint it. Got uh, these all trimmed off, that capped. Got these down here trimmed off at an angle, both sides. So, going to uh, get it primed up and paint it black. And uh, should be ready to go. Cylinders will be in Thursday, get them on. Get the hoses plumbed up to the tractor. So overall, it didn't take us too long to get these made. Uh, these probably took 30 minutes aside to build. And the uh, other time I had making the frame. Pretty easy project. Most of this uh, metal we had laying around from scrap off of different stuff here and there and was able to piece this together. The only thing we bought was some strap for this to make these skids on here and then of course that inch and a half solid rolled stock bar uh, for these uh, that was fifty dollars for a uh, 20 foot stick of that and the flat plate i think was like 18 for a 20 foot piece of that so overall about, uh, I think the cylinders are gonna be about 100 a piece, so about $400 in the project, I'm sure, by the time we do the hoses, not counting the metal that we already had. So 
anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video remember if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button it really helps me out and uh, also be sure and like the video and uh, leave a comment and I'll see you guys next time